everybody. I'm Shauna Kwan with the Governor's Office of Energy Development. I'm here at the state's first net zero home, and we're gonna go inside and talk to the founders, Mitch and Tiffany. But first, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of buildings to our air quality. Buildings contribute almost 40% of the emissions to our air shed, and so it's really important to do energy efficiency improvements wherever we can. And after we talk with them, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how you can improve your home's energy efficiency. Hi, Hi Shana. Shana. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. This is Living Zenith. It's Utah's first net zero community. Mm -hmm. We've been learning together. We've been figuring out how do we create a home mm -hmm. that needs less energy than the norm. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what we've learned is that we need to build our home like a thermos. So in a similar way, this home is wrapped so tightly. And in that way, we radically reduce the amount of energy that we need up front and consequently only need to heat and cool a tiny bit to keep the entire thing at a comfortable temperature. That's so incredible. And so it's like 40 degrees outside right now, but it's 70 in here and the heat's not even on because it's so tight. Exactly. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. And another component about the thermos effect is keeping the air fresh and constantly mm -hmm. circulated. And that's through a special system called the HRV. So one of the things that's critical about a home like this is fresh air. Mm -hmm. So we have what's called a heat recovery ventilator, and this is the lungs of the home. The way that this works is the stale air that's on the inside of the home, as it leaves the home and the fresh air coming in from the outside, as they cross each other, the heat or cool energy transfers. And so you're able to maintain the temperature on the inside of the home. And as that's happening, it's going through some really good filters. And so if it's a red air day outside, you've got green air on the inside of the home, always having good, clean, fresh air. Well, I understand this house also powers itself. So can you talk to me a little bit about that? Absolutely. Let's go take a look. Thanks. So the way that this home is able to power itself is through solar panels and a solar battery. Because the home requires less energy than a normal home, we're able to entirely power the home off of solar and a battery. And that's what makes it net zero. Net zero means that you're able to produce whatever energy you use in the home throughout the course of a year. And so any excess power that you make that you're not able to store in your battery actually goes back to the utility system. And that offsets your utility bill so you have essentially no power bill in the home. Wow. So there's one more thing I want to show you outside of the home. Let's go. So Shauna, we wanted to show you this foam, which is one of the integral components to achieving the thermos-like effect that we've told you about. The home foundation is different from any other home in our valley. So this foundation is poured on 14 inches of foam, wow. which gives it really good insulation so you don't get any of the air transfer from the ground up to the house. On top of it, it's flat, and so the home is able to move at the same time, making it really resilient to any sort of ground movement. So welcome to the Net Zero Life. Welcome to Living Zenith. This is not just about building five homes that we're putting together in this subdivision, but it's actually principles that are readily available. There's services, there's products, there's tools, there's tips that anybody anywhere can do to improve the health of their home and especially the energy efficiency of their home. Absolutely, and thank yeah. you both so much. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Shana. Yeah, thanks thanks for, coming. for coming. See ya. See ya. So Mitch and Tiff just showed us this beautiful net zero home, but it's so important to take some of these tips back home with you. I'm gonna walk through three simple tips that you can do to improve your home's own energy efficiency. The first is caulking. You can caulk around windows and doors to help seal in and prevent air leakage in your home. The next is getting a smart thermostat or using your thermostat to set the temperature to a lower temperature, like 68 degrees, for when you're not even home. The final is when you're ready to replace your appliances, think about energy efficiency appliances. That Energy Star label, that's a great indicator of an appliance that you can buy to save yourself energy. For these and more tips, visit our website at energy.utah.gov.